Welcome to Crossville, Tennessee, folks. Crossville is just off of I-40, located exactly 119 miles east of Nashville, Tennessee, and 75 miles west outside of Knoxville, Tennessee, in the Upper Cumberland region. It's known as one of Tennessee's few micropolitan areas, and it functions as one of the area's significant regional economic hubs just outside of Knoxville, Tennessee. Crossville developed at an intersection of a branch of the Great Stage Road, which once connected the Knoxville area with the Nashville area and the Kentucky Stock Road, a cattle drover's path connecting Middle Tennessee with Kentucky and later extending south to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Around 1800, an early American settler named Samuel Lambeth opened a store at this junction and a small community soon developed around the store known as Lambeth's Crossroads. By 1830, a post office and a courthouse had been developed, like you'll see behind me, and the community had taken on the name Crossville, Tennessee. This is the courthouse behind me in Crossville, Tennessee. It is situated atop the Cumberland Plateau amid the headwaters of the Obed River. And like many other cities here in Tennessee, it is in the heart of downtown Crossville. Crossville's downtown area has always been a vital part of the area that is full of energy and there is an organization to thank for that. Downtown Crossville Inc., or DCI, is a nonprofit corporation that started in 1994 as a group of volunteers that came together to save the historic Palace Theater here in the downtown area from being demolished. Nowadays, the group works to address issues facing the downtown area and the preservation of historic downtown Crossville through the encouragement, advancement, and support of retail development and entrepreneurial growth. One of the events that Downtown Crossville Inc. puts on in the downtown area is the Taste of Crossville. The Taste of Crossville is an annual event here in the downtown area featuring area restaurants, food trucks, wineries, breweries, and more. It is a family-friendly event for everyone where attendees have access to trying everything that each vendor has to offer and then casting their vote for whichever is their favorite. If you are more of an outdoorsy type like Chris and myself, then Crossville certainly has a lot to offer you. The Cumberland Plateau is known for its natural beauty, and as you can see around us, this area is certainly not an exception to that rule. You have incredible natural areas like the more than 45,000 acres of public land at Catoosa WMA just down the street, and if you prefer to stay in town, you will have access to miles of walking trails like the one we're on here currently through most of Crossville's parks. Now we know that summer is rapidly approaching, so if the lake life is more of your thing, then you still have plenty of options to choose from here in Crossville. Crossville has several small lakes on the outskirts of the city, including Lake Tonsi to the south, Lake Holiday to the west, and Bird Lake to the southeast in nearby Cumberland Mountain State Park. Regardless of what you are into, whether it be hiking, being on the water, or simply being in the great outdoors, then Crossville has more than enough opportunity to get you and your family outdoors for the entire year. Now, let's talk about the schools here in Crossville, Tennessee. There are going to be nine elementary schools, nine middle schools, and three high schools like the one you'll see behind me. This is the home of the Jets. As always, we reference greatschools.org and Crossville schools receive high rankings across the elementary, middle and high school levels with the Cumberland County School District being considered above average across all metrics and receiving B plus rankings or better in all categories with the exception of diversity. Now we've talked about everything you need to know about living here in Crossville, Tennessee. Let's go ahead and head out and get started on our home tours. All right, so, so many people that are moving to Crossville are looking for affordability here. Now, you're gonna see several homes at right here as I'm walking through. 
What you're gonna find here at this particular house that's actually listed for sale, it's in the mid 300s. So this house is a little bit newer than the next ones that I'm gonna pass. We're just a street over from a few more. There's several for sale right in through here. But uh, this one's a three bed, two bath, 1500 square foot home. Uh, you're just right down the street from the schools, all the amenities that uh, Crossville has to offer. Um, as you see, they've got a fenced in backyard, uh, several of the homes here. Everybody's pretty much got a two car garage. Um, you get some space, so they're not all completely stacked right on top of each other. But uh, as you see, there's another one right down there. That one's also landing right in the 300s. So you've got a lot of newer homes options right down through here. But as we go, we start walking down the street here. I'm just gonna get across, make sure I look both ways, make sure I don't get ran over um, as we're going. So you see th this house right here and starting forward, uh, th they're a little bit older. So as I go this way, the neighborhood is just a little bit more established than some of those homes behind me. As we get to the more established homes, some of these are just a little bit smaller. So as we go, um, they're a little smaller on the square footage, ranging closer to 11 to 1200 square feet. Uh, they are going to be actually landing uh, closer to the lower 200s, low to mid 200 side of things. Many of them have had some updates along the way. Um, different investors have come in, made some uh, updates, uh, painted, did flooring. Um, some of them have received some new roofs. Uh, just kind of depends on the situation. As you see, I actually love this guy's yard right here. He is out meticulously maintaining his lot. Love those flowers and uh, this cool breeze that's coming through. So we are uh, end of March right now. So it is spring here in Tennessee and it is absolutely beautiful outside. Birds are chirping. Like I said, the wind's blowing. It's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a chill to it today. You never really know what that weather is going to uh, look like. So some days are pretty warm here. Some days are a little on the chillier side. We are what's called up on the uh, plateau. So we're in the Cumberland Plateau area here, meaning we're elevated, right? So we do get some of that, that cool mountain breeze running through here. Now, as I was telling you, these houses are a little older than the, the ones we passed in the mid 300s, a little bit smaller, uh, this yellow one right here and this uh, gray one right here. They're side by side. They're both actually listed right in the low 200s. They are right next to each other. Um, this is great little neighborhood. Like I said, right around the, the corner here, you could actually walk the uh, Tennessee College of Applied Sciences here. And then the rest of the schools, high schools, elementary, middle schools are just all right, right around the corner as well, just right down the street. Everything is pretty close and accessible here. All right, so you're looking for lake life and a little bit of luxury living here in Crossville, Tennessee. We've got some great options for you right here in this phenomenal neighborhood that is just minutes outside of town. So as you can see, we've got the lake right down here. We've got woods. You can hear the birds chirping. It is absolutely beautiful out here. What I've got right here, we've got a four bed, three bath, 2250 square feet, foot house right here. It's on the lake. You've got lakefront access. There's a dock. You can get on out, hang out with your friends, have them over, have some barbecues, tool around on the lake, do some fishing. The lake is stocked. And then not only that, you hop on your golf court and you ride right on over because this neighborhood also has a golf course. So if you're looking for that life of leisure and you're looking for luxury, uh, this is certainly a great price point. All coming in listed right at $900,000 right now. So for under a million dollars here in Crossville, Tennessee, you can be lakefront with a dock on a golf course and just minutes outside of town for all the major conveniences, restaurants, anything that you're looking to do. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful in here. Like I said, birds chirping. Look at this lush grass rolling through everything here, surrounded by other beautiful homes. It is an incredible opportunity here in Crossville, Tennessee. All right, so you're looking for all the amenities that a lakefront and golf course community has to offer along with those lake views, but you don't have an extremely high budget in order to be able to afford to do that. So I don't blame you. I love the lake. I love the access and proximity to the lake and I love to fish. So many of you guys probably know that from some of their other videos. Mark and I both love to get out on the water and uh, just to get outside in general anywhere. The beautiful thing about Crossville is there are some very affordable options. So while we have million dollar homes right here behind me that are lakefront, we actually have not one but two homes right here 
that are much more affordable on the price point. One of them is right at 1,500 square feet. The other just under 1,800 square feet. Three bed, two bath, large lots, as you can see. They've got pretty good lots, long driveways, two car garage. They have got a great little price point. All for the low price of 317 and the other is listed at 333. As I said, we've got million dollar homes right across the street. We're in a golf cart community to where you can access the golf course from your golf cart, ride that on down. You're right across the street from the lake. We've got beautiful views. So you see those houses right there and literally you got those million dollar lake views right across the street bringing in an incredible price point opportunity to get those lake views. So as I'm walking on up here, I'm gonna show you guys the other house. So that one looks like it is a little bit older than the next one. So this one's a little bit newer construction coming right here. This one's got a uh, covered porch. My phone's, uh, phones are ringing. Let me turn that off real quick. Sorry about that guys. All right, so as you see, covered front porch on this one. It's got a two car garage. We've got a long driveway, plenty of room, large lot. We've got some trees that are still here. And like I said, incredible opportunity. Like I said, you can see that lake right behind us still, all in the low to mid 300s, bringing in an incredible price point here in the Crossville, Tennessee area. We wanna thank you guys for following along here on our tour of Crossville, Tennessee today. We've shown you guys the downtown area and all the amenities that Crossville has to offer. We've talked about schools and we've shown you guys some houses at multiple different price points that might match your criteria. So remember folks, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a personalized Zoom call with us so that we can help you make a smooth move here to Crossville, Tennessee. Until next time, we hope to see you around town soon.